Hi there, I've been getting some questions about counting in binary. So what I want to do is, is talk about that, but also to explain how counting in binary isn't that much different from counting in decimal. And when I say counting in decimal, that's just regular counting that you're used to, you know, like there you start at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, like this. So this is the counting that you've been taught as a child and you use this every day. And you get kind of used to, to doing it so I want to remind you of the process that you do unconsciously every time you count like this. And then we, if we apply the same process to binary, it makes, makes sense. So decimal. Decimal, des means, or deca means 10. And what that means is each of these numbers, each of these placeholders, there are 10, 10 possible things this can be, right? So if I'm counting here, I'm starting at 0. And then I go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I've gone through 10 possibilities in this, this thing here. And then when I go to the next possibility, I'm running out of digits, right? I only had 10 there. So when I go to the next one, this one goes back to the original one, and we add one to the next column, right? So then it's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then what happens? 20, because... This, this 9 goes back to the original value, which was 0, and then we add another one to this column. So you know that. I know that. That's, that's how we count, right? So, and when we count, we call the first one, this is the 1s, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then when we, when we add one more, when we have no more, no more room, this goes back to 0, and then we add 1 to the 10s. And then when this becomes 9, 9, 99, we've got no more room, we add 1, we add 1 to the hundreds, right? So this, that's how we count. We do it all the time. We don't even think about it. So you can have a 1 in this position, and that's 1. You can have a 1 in this position, and it's 10. You can have a 1 in this position, and it's 100. So when you have... 1, doesn't matter what comes before it, it only matters what comes after it. So if you have 1 with, with a 0 following, it's 10. If you have a 1 with two zeros following, it's 100. So that's what we know. And then if you think about it in terms of powers of 10, this one, we call it the 1s, right? So 1. 1 happens to be 10 raised to the power of 0. And this next one, is 10, and that's 10 to the power of 1. And the next one, these are the hundreds, that's 10 to the power of 2. This is the thousands, 10 to the power of 3, 10,000, 10 to the power of 4. So we, we know all this. Binary, it's the same, except the only difference is instead of there being 10 possibilities, right, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, there are only two possibilities. 0 and then 1. So then this number starts at 0, it goes to 1, but then, then we're out of numbers. Then it resets to 0, and then when this one resets to 0, remember what happens? This one goes to 1. Right? Just like this. So this is a 9. When you, when you, when it resets to 0, it adds 1 to the next column. So same thing here. So this would start at 0, it goes to 1, and then it resets to 0, and then this be this becomes a 1. So counting, you'll start with 0, 0, well, you'll start with 0, 0, 0, 0. Then this becomes a 1, and then this would reset, and this becomes a 1. And then we add 1 again, and then when this one resets, this one is already one, so this has to reset, and it goes like that. So the counting, just imagine if you had one of these things where each of them only had a one and a zero. Then as you go, it would, it would move the same way that you're used to this happening with decimal, except the numbers would increase like this. 
And then, remember how I was talking about how this first column is 1, it's 10 to the power of 0, 10 to the power of 1, 10 to the power of 2, 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 4. Same thing with binary, except it's 2, the base, right? How many positions this is? 0 and 1, there are 2 options. It's 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the... So, 2 to the power of 0 is 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 8, 16. So that means if you had, let's see here, here we go, if you had just a 1 in this position, it's going to be 2 to the power of 0, and that number is 1. And then if you had a, a 1 in just this position, that's going to be 2 to the power of 1, that's going to be 2. This number is 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. This number is 8. This number is 16. This number is 32. Similar to how if you had just a 1 here, if it was decimal, you know, this would be 10, and that would be 100. That would be 1,000, because 10 to the 1 is 100, or 10 to the 1 is 10, 10 to the 2 is 100. So it, it works exactly the same way except instead of nine digits in each one of these, you only have two. And that's how you count in binary.